Hey, let's install DBA reports. This is simple once you have the module installed uh, by going install dash DBA reports, pick a SQL server, a database name, an install path, and a job prefix if you want. It says, would you like us to create a database named whatever you want? Well, yes, please. Uh, would you like to create a proxy? I'm going to say no, but you can say yes. Off goes the script, creating all the uh, tables, table value parameters, the procedures to install all the agent jobs, schedules all the agent jobs. Uh, and then it says, would you like us to add the server that we've put that in into your event tree now? So I say, I'm going to say no. And what we've got at the end here is our configuration file showing us what we've done. So now we've got our uh, DBA reports database. Let's add some service to it. Add DBA our server to inventory. We'll add those two servers. As you can see, it goes through, gives us the information that it's picked up about those servers, making sure that the um, agent account has got all the permissions that it needs. And if we refresh, we have our database, which I called whatever you want. And when we refresh this, we have our jobs, which will be scheduled to go and get information about every server that we add to the event tree. Once that's been running, you have your Power BI reports. And as you can see, we have a whole variety of reports already created and more coming every day. But these ones I really like because they're nice and interactive. And as you click in amongst them, all the data changes. And I find the managers really enjoy this. We can then build ourselves some dashboards using the visualizations from our Power BI reports. And then we can ask questions about our data, such as total number of servers. 146. Let's put them in a location. That's 55. Uh, I'd like to know how many have got XP command shell enabled. Actually, let's see how many have got it enabled with a true. Oh, we've got 19. And as you can see, that's nice, quick, dynamic, and anybody can very quickly pick up what it is that they need to know from those reports. And we can also make use of Cortana. Hey, Cortana. Which location for clients, the Eagles? As you can see, it's not perfect. It doesn't always work quite as we intended. We'll try that again. Which location for client, the Eagles? I found locations for client for name the Eagles. So there we are, we've got a nice little uh, Cortana page come up with the information about the client, the Eagles, where their databases are located, how many databases there are, and a link to the Power BI report. If we click on that. and there we are into Power BI. We could then exit the QA and we're back into our normal Power BI report. And we can do things like this. Hey Cortana. Yeah. 
Show me last backup date for client the Eagles. And again, didn't quite come out as we expected. We'll try one more time. Show me last backup date for client the Eagles. Apparently left backup date works just as well as I last. found last backup date for client for name the Eagles. But as you can see, there's nice, quick, useful information for managers if they want to see when their client's database was the last had a backup. 